If you like traveling on a budget, or if you have recently become enamored with the Tiny House Revolution show, then you might be interested in some of the things I'm gonna be talking about because I have been traveling across the US for months, staying in most places for like a week, living out of my 2008 Toyota Prius. Let's get into some of the modifications that I've done to allow me to feel like my things are secure, have enough storage, have privacy, sleep comfortably. Yeah, all that shit. So let's go. Many of the places that I wanted to visit were like downtown of big cities. And when you're staying in an urban environment in your car, you really want to have a level of privacy. Like you don't want people, maybe nefarious people, peeking in on you. Some people will put like reflective material up in like the window of their van, but that kind of looks shady. Now looking shady is fine, but it just reduces your opportunities of where you can sleep. The last thing you want is the boy scout of the neighborhood calling up the cops and being like, there's a strange man. Other people will black out their windows with tent. And I looked into that and between different states, there are different laws on like how much you can tent like this window versus this window. And like, it's just shit you don't want to deal with when you're trying to, you know, low key live in your car. <laughs> and this is what I came up with. This is perforated vinyl the same material that you'll see on the windows of businesses with like all this printing on it, of like their logos and whatnot. Straight off the shelf, it's white. And that's perfect for my purposes because it's also reflecting a lot of that sunlight since it's white material and it has like an insulating effect. And on the other side of the material, it's black. So it's a lot easier to see out than it is to see in. Like to see in this, I gotta go like, and who's gonna do that? Now this is not going to be your most budget friendly option, but I would argue that it's worth it because there's a lot of value in just looking like a more professional vehicle. No one is going to pull me over for having perforated vinyl on my windows. If I black these things out with tent, maybe. On the back, I wanted to have storage that I could lock. So I put onto the hitch a like standard cargo rack and bought one of these like 40 something inch long locking aluminum toolboxes. This piece and this piece together were probably under $250. And I just bolted this thing and now it's like my wardrobe, full of clothes, tax documents. Up here on top, I have mounted a universal roof rack system. And onto that is a 100 watt solar panel, which feeds into a deep cycle battery on the inside. And on the other side is this fully locking cargo system. So that gives me some secure storage on the outside of the vehicle. And it's actually more space than I even need. It's not quite as tall or as wide as a lot of them. And that's gonna help out with you know, aerodynamics and fuel economy is obviously something that's important to me considering the vehicle that I chose. This is where I sleep. It is a gymnastics mat that's been folded over. And it actually was three panels, but I cut one off because it was you know, unnecessary. And a sleeping bag, which doesn't get much use right now because it's so hot, um, pillow. This is kind of my kitchen. If I move that out of the way, this is a tray for cooking stuff. I have water stored in there and slide this under here there's lots of nice storage space so i bought four of these dollar storage containers and there's like labels on them like toolbox which it was nice having a parameter for like you can't take any tools outside of what fits in this so that forced me to be more minimalistic and think about what was going to be useful behind that is some additional stuff like jumper cables uh some sweatshirts bungees a medical medical kit there yeah in the interior here we have a basket of miscellaneous things like swimming shorts toiletries things of that nature and up here is something very crucial this is it's just a dowel rod that's been i painted it with a, uh, a primer that's supposed to like protect it from moisture because i like to dry things on this it's great for like I was just in Duluth and went swimming in Lake Superior. I can just take one of these spring clamps and put it over here, throw my shorts on there, and then turn my fan on and dry it out really quickly. I'll do the same thing with my 
clothes from the gym, my towel from the gym. And it also allows me to hang up clothes so I can take nice shirts and get the comment, you don't look like you live in your car, a lot. To which I love being like, I know I don't. Both this and this next thing I'm gonna talk about came from a video on YouTube under the username Hotel Prius. And it was a guy who's done something very similar to this. And he gave instructions on how to mount this. It's basically just like wedged in between these two points. But it works out really well. It's pretty strong. I've knocked it down a few times, knocked it out of position, but uh, it's never too difficult to put back. And the next thing is a curtain. It doesn't do me a lot of good to make all these other windows private if someone can just look through the windshield and see me back here. So I'm able to, you know, put this curtain across here and, uh, you know, bada bing. You may have noticed that there's not a back seat here. Typically with a Prius, you can like fold down the back seats and you've got enough space to like lay down and like sleep. But that's a lot of real estate being used for basically padding and for a seat that's not going to be used by me. So here you can see the thing that I replaced the back seat with. This is a storage structure that I built out of wood and uh, upholstered in some boat carpet. And I wanted to be able to lock up what was inside of here with a padlock, you know, just to have an extra layer of contingency if someone were to bust through my window. And on this side, there's no lock because it's just my pantry. So not really too much worth protecting in there. But if I wanted to, uh, if these thieves think they're gonna get some free refried beans, they got another thing coming. On the other side, I have access to a safe that I bolted into the metal frame here, so it's not going anywhere. And that's where I can keep my stuff that I would potentially be really worried about, like my passport. As far as what I know about setting up electricity and solar power systems, that amounts to about jack and shit. But I was able to buy a kit that allowed me to set this up without much issue. So I have, coming from that solar panel that's feeding into this solar controller, that solar controller is charging the battery, which is in this big case here. And also attached to that battery is this inverter. That gives me two power outlets. And if I need additional outlets, or if I wanna use these four USB ports, you know, I just plug this guy in there. And having this white box is really nice because it just attaches to wherever it's stuck. So wherever I need a USB port, boom. Got it, got it. Right behind the passenger seat is one of those high efficiency overpriced coolers, which, you know, can save money in the long run if I'm able to like buy a block of ice one day and, you know, still have cold drinks four days later. So on top of here, I have a doormat so that I can put my shoes on there when I get inside and that's just Velcroed on, but it wouldn't be a proper episode of Cribs if I didn't show what's inside of here. So, 99 cherries, two Miller lights, and no ice. <laughs> if you found this helpful, let me know. Or if you have any friends who might find this helpful, let them know. Peace. Peace. Get out of here. Get that camera out of my face. Get that camera out of my face.